as we are very close to expiry although directional bias is up can we think of establishing some bearish credit spread not unless we find acceptance below this uh, iv low i would uh, go for it in fact i would even go for it if we show this that we are accepting below this and we are likely to test lower uh, references like this uh, there, this is a failed option by the way uh, and uh, a rejection also so if we have a possibility of these levels being tested uh, only in that case i would advise a bearish credit spread because otherwise what can happen is we can come here we can make it a poor low in that case this anomaly won't be so severe uh, or we can even test below it and then again start to go back up and this can quickly turn into a d shape we can get a late spike and it will become a d shape and then we may or may not have snap back to the loop okay so this is this is going too much into the future for getting too ahead of the market but just to answer your question this can happen and this will put bearish credit spread under a lot of pressure so i would not do that but yes if the market gives us a clear indication that yeah it does not want to go up there is a lot of exhaustion it is testing below the ib low now and now it will question the commitment of these buyers then it's a different story then probably we can start thinking about a bearish credit spread but not not before this that is the patient we want to develop in trading because uh, i have found that uh, the patience is very very boring sometimes very frustrating you can see there is money to be picked up but uh, you have to be very very patient and true to your trading plan and not uh, deviate from it difficult thing to do difficult these these psychological emotional issues are what we need to master here but once you do that then then this becomes real fun and i'll tell you when you will get the joy you will definitely not get the joy today or even tomorrow let's say at the end of this month when i will be updating my pnl uh, for the month uh, then i will get that pleasure because then i will see that yeah i i it will come back it will tell me that okay this was the the second expiry and you did not uh, roll up you did not establish a bearish credit spread it would have dis you know uh, disturb your original plans and pnl and you held on to your discipline and at the end of the month let's say we have all weeks as profitable weeks nice decent 0.5 to 1% profit per week i think uh, that that is uh, a tremendous amount of joy because it's not only about the money you are making but it is also about uh, the fact that you believed in the process you followed the process to the t and uh, at the end of it for following the process you are rewarded so that is a very good uh, feeling